Good morning. I'd like to present a video presentation on robotic assisted PCNL puncture, aiming straight for the bull's eye. PCNL is currently regarded as the treatment of choice for large renal stones. Comparing to open nephrolithotomy, PCNL have shown to be less invasive while still having good stone clearance. However, PCNL does have a few challenges. The average fluoroscopy time for renal access during PCNL procedure is about 175 seconds. Due to common use of fluoroscopy, urologists and surgical staff are under occupational risk of prolonged radiation exposure. Despite being minimally invasive, PCNL is not without complications. Commonly documented complications include injury to adjacent organs, violation of the pleural space, bleeding or infection. The learning curve for PCNL surgery, especially renal assays, is fairly steep. Studies have shown that competency after PCNL surgery is usually achieved after an average of 60 cases. Few solutions have been described. Acronym for as long as reasonably achievable, ALARA, means making every reasonable effort to maintain exposure to ionizing radiation as far below the dose limits as practical. Some centers advocate ultrasound-guided renal access. However, this requires overcoming a separate learning curve depending the availability of ultrasound machine intraoperatively. We would like to introduce a different tag on renal access during PCNL by combining fluoroscopy imaging with artificial intelligence guided puncture. The Automated Needle Targeting Device ANT, is a software-controlled automated electromechanical arm. Its aim is to assist surgeons in achieving accurate renal access in PCNL surgery. The ANT has three main components, the robot, the motor controller box, and articulated arm. It fuses parallel software and fluoroscopy imaging, calibration, and calculation to achieve ideal alignment for puncture in the bull's eyes technique. After setting up the ANT device, motor calibration is performed. Then, the CM fluoroscopy is introduced and location of stone is identified as per normal PCNL procedure. The ANT device is then placed to the location of the renal stone. Needle is then placed into the ANT device. Calibration by ANT software with fluoroscopy image is done to ensure optimum bull's eyes alignment. Needle puncture is then performed. Accurate renal access is confirmed by the flux of urine in the Chiba needle, as well as imaging with the C-arm position at a different angle. The guide wire is then introduced into the collecting system and passed down into the bladder via fluoroscopy guidance. Upon completion of renal access, the ANT device is easily unplugged and detached from the surgical field. As a result, we performed 20 PCNL surgeries using both ANT device and manual puncture for renal access. 
the mean radiation time for renal access using ANT device appears to be significantly lower as compared to manual puncture. Less number of punctures were required for successful renal access. There were no adverse events documented during each of the two methods. In conclusion, we think that the ANT device has the potential to be a useful adjunct for surgeons in PCNL surgery with the aim of reducing radiation exposure.